Yes, how you doing? My name is Andrew Sinius, and here today we're going to simulate a four-state state diagram machine with three inputs and two outputs. So you can see right here we have the, the diagram. We see that in state zero, it goes into himself. It's a high in state as well as state three and state two. Okay, let's get started. So you're going to open Al Altera Quatris. Once you're in the create new project area, I just I already did it, so I'm just going to name it whatever I can right now. You can name it whatever you want. You name this. Make sure you're in family Mac 7000 S, as well as the device that ends with LC84-7. After that, you press next and from there on you will finish. With doing that you will get into your Altera Quatris, you press new you go to state machine file, you will click on the state machine file once doing that this will come up and then you will do it manually where you have manually here and you do 0, 1, 2, 3 you will do the state machine on Quatris based off the diagram given. Granted, this one right here. Okay, let's get started. So to do this, after we have uh, uh, the state diagram here, we go right here and click on the transition tool. With the transition tool, we could drag to what we want based off the table we have or the diagram. With that being said, we also will go to, to add our input. You do right here, insert new, you will add a reset, a clock, an X, and that as well. Delete this, no, not needed. Um, after that, we will go to the outputs and also put two outputs, A and B. Granted, after doing this, once you have all your arrows connected based off the diagram, we will double click right here, and then we will also put based off the diagram, not X if it is, and X if it is. We could also go to the state di machine wizard right here, and once, obviously, once you are creating your you would create a new state machine but right now I already have mine so I'm in edit and then I press next when you're in the state machine wizard you could also do this you could do you could do the state machine this way by simply stating right here the state names the three imports like we did manually right here as well as based off the table your source state to destination state and if it's a high or low X or not X granted we have ours done already right here you could do it the same simple then after that we have our two outputs and we make sure we know where the output state is going to be if it's going to be in the next cycle or if it's going to be in a current cycle ours is in the next cycle as well as the action conditions right here with our outputs. That is done, we put finish, and we are done. We see our state machine like this. Now we know we are ready to compile it. Once we, com we compile, right here, press compile, we save the changes. Yes, yes, yes. Compile is successful. successful it is. Once we are here, we will go to File, New, and make sure we do Vector Waveform. After that, we press OK. I already have mine done as well. So when we get to the Vector Waveform, we are in the simple stages of actually inserting the nodes, where you see Node Finder, you do Pins, 
all of the pins, you list them, and then you press this double arrow to put them on the other side. Granted, I already did this, so it's all over here in this area. We as well want to put the edit time, end time right here at 10 nanoseconds right here. Then it's an OK state. After that, we'll have we will zoom out you put clock you put your clock signal as it is granted right here as well as the reset granted right here make sure we have the reset slightly under the high of the clock set for when we get our a and b output we will know the difference in in each state also let's not forget to right click insert node and we're going to type in an F state. That's make sure we know we're in the state diagram and we're definitely getting in each state, the, the, three, the four states we have. You press OK, OK is granted, and then I already have mine right here. As well, now we're at the X stage, and with the X stage, we will be doing this manually. So we will go right here, we will drag it, and we'll make sure we start a little under right here, to right here. This shows the X state, this shows the, uh, the, the next clock cycle in, this, in the clock. After this, we will go to assignments, I apologize, processing, we go to simulator tool. After simulator tool, we want to make sure that our stimulation mode is in functional. Sometimes, if it's not functional, it will not run as well as we put the, simula uh, the simulation input to the file we have. I named my file waveform2 as you see right here so I added it to waveform2. After that we will click on generate function list. This is successful then we will start. This is as well successful. From there we are granted with this our simulation waveform where we see high in state 0 and then 0, 1, 2, 3 and then goes back to high again. Thank you very much. This was my state diagram for, for state as you see right here. Thank you very much.